Thank you very much, Keikai, for such a great introduction and letting us know what's going on. Now our presentation takes us to the module design layout, gallery, checkup, vocabulary, and audio clips that we used. The module design layout for the ancient Hawaiian class system follows the same design concept for each of the four classes represented. Each class within this system incorporates the brilliance of color and the dynamic design pattern of the kapa followed by relevant vocabulary to reinforce the new words learned. The color scheme and kappa design are richly woven into each module design layout to denote with which class they are associated. For example, the Na Ali'i class believed that red represented royalty. Therefore, it follows that the use of red for royalty is then used along with the use of kappa. The significance of the kappa pattern allows us to see the status of each of these ruling classes' clothing and is demonstrated throughout this module and the subsequent ancient Hawaiian classes. Finally, it is noteworthy to point out that to the left side of each module, the learner will find important vocabulary. The next design element that we used is the gallery media widget, which allows students to explore different examples of the ancient Hawaiian class system. For example, here the second class, Nakahuna, uses brown, and the specific kappa design is displayed in the background as a warm earth tone. The checkup section utilizes a review widget and is found at the end of each module. This is designed to assess what the student has learned and retained. Students are able to review and check their answer here. As you can see, this is an example of the na makaaina, which illustrates the design layout of the representative question and multiple choice answer selection. The color of the na makaaina is green, and the background is the kappa design pattern that represents their ancient Hawaiian class. In this case, green denotes a class structure that worked a lot, or in contemporary terms, it could even be a working class. The last class were outcasts, and it's the only class that we were not able to find a number of visuals or examples. We were able to find one that was somewhat appropriate for children. Therefore, there is only one visual that shows Kawa. For this reason, this is the only class that does not have a gallery. However, what all four classes do have in common is that on the left side of the page is vocabulary combined with audio clips, so students are able to learn how to pronounce the Hawaiian words correctly. The audio clips are most definitely a useful feature, even for me. On that note, our presentation has now come to its end. John, thank you very much for your support and design expertise, and to our visual design mates, mahalo for listening. It's been a good run. Enjoy your evening. Take care, all.